Hello everybody and welcome back to the left leg fight club. So um, just to give you a little update of what's been going on with my health and where I'm at um, and stuff like that and what's been going on with my leg. So it's now just past five months of obviously me first injuring my leg. Um, things are still going pretty well. Uh, past couple of weeks have been a bit rocky with obviously uh, my health and stuff like that and infection rates and um, <clears throat> inflammation within my leg and lots of um, concerns from my uh, consultancy team and my GP due to um, the rate of infection um, which is measured by your CRP levels within your blood which is your C created protein which measures infection rate of the inflammation in your blood Obviously, there's a number of things which can um, affect this going up and going down. Normally, for raising, it can be anything from a cold, fever, headaches, stress, diabetes, problems with your liver and your kidneys, um, toothache, headache. It literally can be a, an abundance of, 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 of things that can make this go up. And mine went up quite predominantly over the past couple of weeks. It went up from 5 to 16, then from 16 to 33, and I went down from 33 to 23, and then I went, rocketed it up to 107, which lent to me having an admission into hospital <clears throat> to get checked out to see if there was any obviously ongoing issues with my leg, um, which touch wood, there's a cabinet up here, um, it didn't uh, affect my leg, but there was obviously still concerns, and then obviously going back to the hospital to have bloods, and then them saying no, and then going back to the doctors having bloods again. Um, so yeah, this has been a bit of a head fuck really for myself going move, going forward and moving over the past couple of weeks, um, which has been quite sort of uh, traumatic to myself as such. I know traumatic might be a bit of a sort of over exaggerated word, but it has been sort of a like I said earlier, a bit of a head fuck really for myself, and obviously um, it's caused a bit of. Um, uh, concerns to obviously my consultancy team and my GP so hopefully we got to the bottom of it um, all being well because I obviously visited my dentist yesterday because I've been experiencing pain with in my tooth area um, and it turned out that basically uh, I went in for an annual checkup and they ripped the tooth out of my head because it was basically infected and the root was infected near my sinuses and which has obviously led to the pain which could be a contributory factor to um, why my CRP numbers have gone up. So yet again, touch wood. And um, hopefully that will now come down because this obviously this tooth has now been removed. Out of my head, as you can see. Um, so not only have I got pain in my fucking leg, but I've also got pain in my head from obviously having this tooth pulled out. So hopefully that will resolve this issue with the CRP numbers. I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, but. Uh, I've also started hydrotherapy now, um, which I know I touched on last time, which has been absolutely um, a game changer. You know, I know I've used that word on previous videos, but it actually has been miraculous. The, the difference that it's made within my recovery and the rehabilitation and um, what it's done, the hydrotherapy. It's only half hour each week that I go. Um, yes, it's expensive. Um, Yes, it's private, um, but it works. I mean, the NHS can refer you to it, but due to the nature of me not being in the catchment area of where I do my hydrotherapy, I have to pay for it, which doesn't bother me because obviously you can't put a price on your health, but that has helped out loads. And um, <clears throat> it's absolutely wonderful, really. The people that I'm with are a great bunch of people. You know, they're, they're called Blue Bell Physio and Hydro. I'll, I'll put a link below for them um, if anyone else is watching this and experiencing some sort of issues with breakages or something like that then they can help you out also my physio which I use privately full potential they've been a massive help to myself alongside the hydro you know that they've sort of progressed me quite far in a short number of amount short short number of months and amount of time so I'll put also put a link in the description uh, 
below, not below on this work surface, below in the, the video peripherals and whatever else. Um, so I can't thank them enough really. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it really. But I've also got a um, something going on with a with with, with a brand at the moment, which I'm not going to mention too much about until I obviously get settlement or closure on this or escalate or this escalates further into um, something. But that's quite sort of heavy duty at the moment. Um, which is quite cool because it's like me against the world with this thing really, um, which I can't go into. Some of you know something about it. And I would say, please, if you do know something about it, don't put any comments on this video because I don't want um, it getting out there really. Um, I will let you know in due course what goes on with that once this has been concluded and everything's been finalised. I'll give you an update or to what how that to what has gone on and how it come about and et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, it could cause um, problems for myself moving forward, um, really. So yeah, I'll just keep an eye on that, but that's good. That's something really big, um, which I thought I'd let you into. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's not been too bad. I've managed to get more of a bend on my leg now. The surgeon was only expecting 70 degrees and then... Um, I'm not at a point where I can get it 96 degrees, which is classed as um, being a fully functioning knee at 90 degrees. I mean, how they can clinically come up with that is is, is is fucking beyond me, but that's what they say, fully functioning knee is 90 degree bend, even though it's like 96. Um, still can't do a great deal with my leg. I can walk now on one crutch, which is good. The, the strength is getting back in it. Um, so yeah, it's moving forward quite well. Still off work, and I've been off for five months. Um, but we're getting there. It's the small steps that make the biggest of difference. So you know, a lot is always too can be too much, but a little can be make can be a, make can be a mass massive thing and make a big difference. I try and do things little and often. Um, so yeah, it's it's not too bad. Things are going quite well. But I just thought I'd give you. all give you all an update of where I've am at. I like to maybe give a monthly update um, with what's going on. So that's that really. Um, and yeah, what else? I don't know really what else. I've got um, an interview um, on Monday, which is going to be a live stream, Monday the 17th of April with Sam Robson of uh, Geometron Bikes I own, a Geometron bike myself. Um, I've owned it for four years. It's the longest bike that I've ever had. It's, it's absolutely fantastic bike. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's, it does for what I do it, what I want and what I want it to do. Obviously, I'd want it to do something now, but I fucking can't because my leg's fucked and I can't ride it. But it's there for me to get back onto. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting, really, speaking to Sam on Monday, 17th of April at 8pm. So there will be a um, link for that on my channel um, when that's going to be premiering. There is a trailer on there, so check that out. I will put, um, um, I don't know what they call it, a thumbnail or a link to where it is and when it's going to show. I need to do that really. So that will be done today. But yeah, it's going to be quite good fun. I've also got um, another sort of interview coming up, which will be the second part from the the first live stream I did with Graham Foot. That's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Potentially, we're going to be doing something quite regular as well because we've had quite a bit of conversation since the um, the last live stream. Um, you know, we've been discussing quite a few things. He's got some good things coming up as well. So I'll leave a link for his channel in uh, the description because he's got some quite good stuff coming up. A real nice guy um, and smoke stone bikes. Yeah, he's got some good good shit coming up. Um, really um, and he's been struggling himself and we've kind of been supporting each other through what we've been going through so yeah thanks uh, Graham Foot of uh, Smoke Stone Bikes for that peace and love Graham so yeah what else can I say really um, yeah mentally it's um, it's been really good it's not been too challenging um, I'm still getting on daily I mean some days are more boring than others but it's surprising how busy you are when you're basically fucking ill and basically can't do a lot. 
how uh, much time and time gets sucked up from doing different chores and going to appointments and how busy you become when you're not doing fuck all, um, really, from my point of view. Which um, has gone really quick the past five months from doing, you know, from going from having a full time job Monday to Friday and obviously, you know, living and a life and having a social circle and doing social activities and doing stuff with my, my missus and stuff has now become like now parts that are sort of quite redundant. But obviously, there's been other things that have overtaken, really. So that's um, quite time consuming, but it's um, it's fucking hard at times, but you get on with it. And like I say now, you know, all this head in your stove stuff, I've sort of left that behind me, you know. Um, I've got my stove down here, I've got my cooker here, um, and I just seem to put stuff I want to cook in there now and not my head anymore, which is good. But um, my new thing now is, you know, if you want to keep winning this battle, you've just got to keep fucking fighting it really and that's that's where i'm at with it all you know i'm keep i keep winning all the time i might be at a loss sometimes but if i just keep on fighting then you then i'm going to keep on winning and that's what i advise to anyone really if you if you've got a fight that you want to win you've just got to keep battling it i'm no expert i'm no sort of um you know guru or influencer or whatever but that's my motto and i find that to be sort of sight sight not sight quite sort of good for myself and i would recommend that if you can come up with something yourself and stick to it then you know that i found it to be good so yeah that's really really helped me out and i've had some great support around me moving forward from friends family um and other outside sources so yeah i can't really think of anything which is going shit in my life really apart from just I can't do things what I want to do, but the things what I do want to do, they will come back as I when. So I'm still in good spirit. I'm still fighting the battle and I will win that fight. So as I always say, this is the Left Leg Fight Club. Peace and love over and out. Ta-ta for now. And I will see you on the next video. So just to... Little reminder that on Monday the 17th of April at 8pm I will be interviewing Sam Robson of Geometron Bikes on a live stream. Peace and love. Over and out. The left leg. Fight club. Boom.